Hello curious people and finally I have got something else to take apart. It is a um, alarm clock, digital alarm clock. It's mine. It's rubbish. It was rubbish right from the beginning. I should have just sent it back. Um, but really quickly it didn't do the auto set and stuff like that and now well, to be honest, it's just been sitting there for a while because I just use my phone anyway, like most people do. But I like to have a clock in my bedroom. But this um, never did the auto set. And now it just, sometimes the alarm just doesn't go off or goes off at random. It's just totally <laughs> shoddy. So you guessed it. I thought we'll do a what's inside a digital alarm clock. So one exciting thing is that I've got um, a late birthday present from my parents which is ta -da! <laughs> a little electric screwdriver of course all the pieces have just fallen into the wrong place though so I thought let's give it a go with this and see what we can find, you know, open it easily, see what we can find inside. But oh, I can't believe all these pieces have just fallen everywhere. Oh, come on, man. Okay. So, I've got quite a few bits and bobs in here. Right, that might fit. Let's give this a go because it's the one I can find basically. So, get rid of that. See, so this brand is Precision. to go the right way. I was saying before, wasn't I? Oh, it'd be so much quicker and easier with a electronic screwdriver. <laughs> there we go. But that in itself, I just got a bit used to. This is slightly too big, but it worked anyway. So, okay. So, wow, not a lot going on in here. Obviously, some capacitors, a little bit of wiring, the speaker tiny cord here literally can see nothing on here let's just we'll take this off just to see what's under well there's obviously just going to be switches on here see a little tiny bit of so that's uninsulated it's got these little tiny wires here done a um, what's inside for a while because then I think there might be another board mm, I could be wrong but we'll, we'll see uh, for a little while because I haven't I've run out, I had run out of stuff and then I was cleaning my room and I suddenly remembered this piece of junk and I thought aha now that I can I wonder if I've got a tiny I don't think I've got a teeny weeny one in this electronic set. 
I might have to do that by hand. Oh, hang on, what's that? No. Okay. So, I'm going to go to my little trusted mini mini ones. The freebie ones, by the look of it, from looking at that, the size of that tiny screw. It's going to be my teeny weeny freebies. Mommy, I'm making a video, darling. <laughs> That's question of the month, that is. Mummy, what are you doing? Okay. These come out easy enough. So it doesn't really matter that I'm doing it by hand. There we go. Right, so what have we got? Wow, like nothing. Yeah. Not great. Let's take off this switch. Oh, we're going to have to go sideways. Okay. Chucking my stuff around now. I was going to say, where's the other two? There they are, right there, right in front of me. That's the switches just off. I just push right in now. Um, so obviously, I'm not taking this to the scrapyard. I'm processing everything myself to see how much copper I can get out of it. I'm just collecting the little boards just to see what I get out of curiosity really. Um, I mean this is, <laughs> although that's, you know, there's nothing on there. It's not even a single little IC or anything on there. Niente. Um, so this will be painstaking but that will need Oh, it's not even... Okay, no painstaking for me. I thought it would need processing by hand, but actually it's not copper, so I don't have to bother. Um, but you would just throw into low-grade wire, and this is just the screen, so there's nothing to that. This. You can... <laughs> oh, now that is cool. That might have to be a sensory video all on its own. Different numbers showing up here. The year. <laughs> oh, it's the little things, but that does... That gives me great satisfaction. Okay, what else is in this screen? Plastic paper hmm. I'm gonna keep that that might come in handy not that I'm a hoarder or anything guys but you know some of this stuff does actually come in handy occasionally right let's take this apart just to to see 
Um, I'm going to use this one rather than the, the other one because it's a bit too big. There we go. Okay. I think that's loose enough. I smell. I think someone might be having a barbecue. Let's hope that smell doesn't get any stronger. I haven't got my washing in yet. I must get it in, but I'm enjoying doing this too much. Okay. I'm just so thrilled to have something to take apart. That's okay. Oh, and I've got a Skybox coming. My best friend's upgraded her Sky and they left it behind, so. Okay. Does anyone know what that is? You probably do, look at that resin. A little bit of copper there. That's wound with copper. Sweet. Okay. Oh well, that's a nice little surprise in there. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Now I've just got to figure out how to get the thing out. that oh it's just glued in there okay never fear hammers here I can find a flathead what done with my flatheads oh there's one put something on your feet please that wouldn't be you <laughs> my lovely viewers that would be my daughters have to be asking me something. There we go. Well, hey. Nice. It's got this horrible resin on it, though, but it's, it's like a waxy stuff. Look. That's going to be horrible to make um, an ingot with. But what I might do is um, try and burn it off another way first before putting it anywhere near a furnace. Hmm. So, I don't know, is this... that is that metal it's almost stony I don't think it's oh I've forgotten the word now I've forgotten the name we'll see anyway look at that Ugh. Making a right mess over here. It's quite sticky as well. I'm sure. Okay, can I unwrap it now? Yay! I can, but look at it, it's absolutely caped. Ugh. Feels horrid. At least this is pure copper though and not, you know, just coated or, well worse, not even copper at all. 
because you've seen my disappointment in some of my other videos where I think, wow, look at all that copper, and then I cut it and it's got some other rubbish metal inside. Crikey, look. I've got all these, and it's not even halfway. This is why I love these little things. These random little things have so much more copper in them than what you think sometimes. I mean, some of it has none at all. But then you just get like a random little gem. It makes me hate this alarm clock a little bit less. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's like a little Brucey bonus when you've got something that's a load of rubbish. It doesn't work. You think, oh, do you know what then? I'm going to get that little bit of value out of it. Thank you. Oh, here we go. like this let's um just cut that off okay so there we go there's a little tiny bit of <laughs> and i mean tiny let me get my scales let's see how much that weighs okay got the scales Let's see, I've got this tiny little bit. Let's just zero that. Mill? No. Grams. Right, let's just see what this tiny bit. Oh, a whole three grams, everyone. Shut the front door. Three grams. But I'm really happy with that because I thought this heap of rubbish was going to have nothing. So, there's three grams there. Happy days. Um, yeah, so that wasn't, that wasn't copper, was it? Just remind myself. Let's see if it's all the same. Gosh, I can hardly even see that. No. Okay, so that... That is the sorry show of what's inside an electric alarm clock, guys. Oh, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and get into this plug because the transformer has copper and um, on some of the big Christmas light transformers I've got, I couldn't believe, actually, how much copper was in it. Normally I have to go and smash these on the concrete. But um, just have a little go. Uh, yeah, just have a little go at getting in with on the seal. No, okay. Right, I'm gonna go and smash this on the concrete then. We'll see what's inside this plug. Okay, so just gave this a good smash on the concrete shed base. Woohoo! Alright. So what have we got in here? I know most people don't bother with these, but you know, in for a penny. Okay, so under here, under this tape, is copper. The quality of the copper obviously depends on the product. Now this is a cheap product, so don't hold masses of hope. It's not even copper, is it? I mean, all these wires that don't have copper in them, really? Let me see. I mean, does anyone know what they use when they don't use copper? What silver metal it is? This is a great gadget, by the way. Yeah, look. Some silvery coloured 
quite a white metal colour. <sighs> Boo hiss. If anyone knows a quick, easy way of getting into these, please let me know in the comments. Because at the moment I'm just collecting them up because, well, I don't really... I mean, I painstakingly got into one before, but it was literally a case of de-layering it, which was just... Ugh, grim. But I do want it it's so sticky. I do want to just see, make sure that that's not um, just coated. Don't want to find any nice surprises. Nice, nasty surprises, should I say. Um, I'm in a real muddle today. I'm making a real mess. Where have I just put my. Oh, there. If anyone who remotely knows what they're doing watches this, you must literally be like, <laughs> love, what are you doing? <laughs> well, this is what I'm doing, you know. I enjoy it. Oh, what's going on here? What? This is confusing me. It's not what I was expecting. Oh, okay. That's in the way. <sighs> Okay, there's some chippy thing in the way there. Oh, crikey, this middle of this little screwdriver. It's, it's not the one that I should be bashing, it's not thick enough. Oh, I'm so sticky. All right. Thank you. Oh my life, turn it around. Okay. Put the chip out of the way. Ah, oh, there's the copper. Just want to make sure it is pure copper. Oh, let me take my eye shields off. They're a bit, um, when I am doing like the, if I'm smashing something up, I always put those on. It's better to be safe than sorry. And if I've got stuff, you know, poking around. Yeah, that is. Excellent. Okay, so at least. Wow, it's so sticky. Ew. Uh, at least in the plug to this thing as well, I've got, you can kind of see. The, maybe this side would be better to see that that's quite some I mean if this one what was this three grams that is a lot thicker than this so I reckon we're gonna get like a cute little bit of copper out of that so yeah so that's another one to add to the collection as I say if you have any ideas how I can get into this thing with these I'm assuming I just need to like the heat sinks and stuff you just have to um, up with some sort of angle grinder but these don't have like a join an obvious join because they sort of overlap interlock with each other so well that's that feeling like when you eat a really chewy sweet and it sticks your teeth together okay so there we have it oh and also obviously I say there we have it but there'll be a little bit, oh my goodness, and I mean a little bit, <laughs> in the wire. So basically, people, that is what is inside a digital alarm clock. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.